What's up, you guys? So, I'm starting this vlog kind of early, listening to my Spotify music. Um, it's 9 Hawaii time. Oh, let me show you. It's 9.08 Hawaii time. I was listening to No Guidance by Drake. Um, today is going to be kind of just a clean day. Um, most of you guys don't know this because I haven't told you yet. I haven't told the vlog yet. Um, I work for Instacart, which is basically like a grocery delivery service. And um, it's been really slow this week. So I'm going to go ahead and just take care of stuff at the house. If I get a batch, I get a batch. I'll bring you guys with me maybe. Um, I don't know if you guys are like into that or you want to know more about that. In my area, um, I live in Hawaii. Uh, in my area, it's been kind of slow. So like I said, I'm just going to clean the house. I'm going to take this slow day. It's kind of gloomy outside today too. Um, I'm gonna take this slow day to just clean the house, do what I need to do, um, turn on a candle, relax for a while. So I think my house is a little messy right now. It is a little messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean it. I might just set you guys down and do like a, a, a time lapse. So that you guys can see. I might do a house tour if if you guys are into that or if you want to see that. I might do a house tour and I can just show you. Um, so, little backstory. Um, my husband's in the military. So, we live on Schofield Barracks. And, um, yeah, we live on a military installation. And we live on Schofield, and we live actually in one of the older houses. As you can see, it's kind of older. We literally have a fireplace, and why would you need a fireplace in Hawaii? I don't know. But um, they had them back in the day, so yeah. I'll show you guys a house tour maybe. There goes a batch. Let's see if it's actually good. Ugh, I gotta grab my phone. Hopefully it's close. Mm, that's not too bad. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, it's a safe weight order. So this is the order. I'll show you how they structure it. In um, it's $16 for 12 items. If my camera will focus, there it goes. Um, $16 and it shows you the items right here just in case like some of you guys want an Instacart or you don't know. They're pretty simple items um, and I think it's on post. Yeah, it's on post so that's even more perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, just press accept and then I'm going to put some shoes on and then we will go. So... I guess the cleaning portion of this vlog will have to wait. I'm going to go do this order. I'll bring you guys with me so you guys will see like how I shop the order. I think I actually know who this is. Um, how I shop the order, how I pick up some items. Maybe a little hard because I don't have a tripod for you guys right now. Like a, a movable one. I just have a stiff one. So I'm going to grab shoes. I'm going to turn off this light. Grab shoes. And then we can go. Welcome to my car. Sorry if the steering wheel's in the way. It's gonna have to be like that for a little while. It be like that sometimes. Um, welcome to my car. This is my baby. Um, I just always, oh, a good tip. If you're gonna do Instacart, keep a portable, this thing looks humongous. It's literally as big as my head. Um, keep a portable charger with you because it'll help um, to keep your phone charged. And also, I always keep a pop socket on my phone. It, look, I have this one right now. It's so cute. It's a little uh, stitch. I always keep a pop socket on my phone and a pop socket holder. This little thing that you can see right here is a holder for my pop socket. They're on Amazon. They're like 
probably like 10 bucks. Actually, let's go ahead and get going. For Instacart, um, you, okay, making sure no one's coming down my street. Um, for Instacart, you want to make sure you don't give them your rec their receipt, like for their actual transaction, um, because one, they get sent a digital receipt of their purchases um, through the company, like through their app or whatever, or whatever they're purchasing it from. Sorry, sorry if this bothers you. It's yeah, I know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, they'll send you a digital copy or they'll send the customer the digital copy on their app. So do not give them the receipt. Okay, I have my ID. I always double check when I leave my house that I always have my military ID because I need that in order to get back into... Oh, you heard that pop? Um, I always have to have it... Um, to make sure that I get back into post, which I, if you see, if you hear me say post, it well, we just had visitors. Um, Trevor, who's my husband, um, his family just came a week ago. Uh, they were here for 10 days, so they enjoyed the Hawaii weather. Right now, it's actually a little bit gloomy, but it looks like it'll clear up soon because on this side. I see it's nothing but sunny skies and clear. So I am driving right now to the Safeway. Um, it's not too far from my house. Uh, and I know the Safeway pretty well. So it, this order should not take me long at all. Okay, we have arrived at Safeway. Now I just gotta find a parking. I was like jamming out listening to the radio. Okay, let's see. Um, we'll park right here. Please do not try to pull out. Okay, so I'm gonna head inside the store. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog very much in there. I'm gonna try to. Um, let me just show you the screen that it puts me on. Okay, so I'm not gonna put the name. But it gives me, like, the details. Um, and it says, like, Mahula Parkway, which is where I am. That's the store. Um, and then all you have to do is a slide to start shopping. I'll show you that. It just says slide to start shopping. And then you slide. And then it'll start your order. That guy looked at me so weird. Oh, I love making eye contact when I'm vlogging. Yay. Love it. Um... So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna start shopping. I might vlog a little bit while I'm in there, probably not much, just because I try to like be very on it when I'm like doing my orders. But uh, like I said, I'll try to vlog a little bit and other than that, we will see. See you guys in there. Okay guys. Real quick vlog clip, I'm just showing you like how I like find items. So I don't know why, but for some reason I think that someone else did this order earlier and they couldn't find this item. It's the Nor the Nor Rice Side Dish Cheddar Broccoli and it's not focusing. Anyways, so that's one of the items that's right there. Let's try doing this. Press that. And I see it right there. So then I just grab it. Hold you. There for a second. Let's see if you guys stay. Perfect. Here you guys are. You grab that. So I found it right here. That's the item. So then I click it and I put found original item on my app then it brings up this it brings up this screen so you can scan the item so then all you do is scan it with your app and then it just takes it off so perfect that's one more down 
All right, guys, well, I just finished the order. It was 12 items, and for some reason, I found the items that the other customer or the other shopper didn't because, like I said, I think this order was already shopped. Then you just put review changes and then go to next step and then next, and then I check out and I will show you guys after I check out. Okay, guys, so I just finished that order. Um, now all you do is it's gonna say next um, you're gonna have to take a photo of the receipt most of the times they make you do that especially at well mainly for Safeway I'm not really sure why I'm pretty sure it's just to make sure that uh, that um, it's accurate and so then you just press next again you take the photo you press next and then it's gonna ask you to swipe to deliver so then it gives me the address um okay it says that it's wrong is she and they can put notes as well so for this person she put the GPS in the insta app is wrong put the address into Apple Maps if possible so I'm going to try to put the groceries in my reusable bags and my insulated one. Um, Instacart requires you to get insulated bags. So, either you can get their brand. It, from what I've heard from other people, their brand sucks. So, I actually went to Costco and bought my own. And I actually prefer them because they're humongous and they fit so much stuff and they not only help me with work because I mean to be honest being a military spouse and trying to work here actually trying to get a job here in general from what I've heard is extremely hard because we do live on an island there are only a specific number of jobs so it can be hard to find a job here um, so yeah and especially for a military spouse because they don't like for us to work here because in their eyes we're only going to be here for a set amount of time which i understand i can understand that but it kind of sucks for me because um i had so much work experience both in retail and like working behind a desk so it kind of sucked coming here when um i had the experience yeah so that that kind of sucked when I got here because I thought finding a job was going to be easier than it actually was. That's why a lot of military spouses here don't have jobs because it is harder. Um, but you will have those diamond in the rough like places where um, they actually help you out. But I like this job just because one it's easy, it's easy money. Um, I like making my own schedule. To be honest I thoroughly enjoy like grocery shopping. so. Like, I already liked doing that, and so it's just implementing something that I already liked doing. Um, for some reason, I think that someone before me had this order because um, it showed me their messages. When I went to go message her my intro message, because for me at least, I know a lot of Instacart shoppers do this, um, they'll send you an intro message like hi my name is blank I'm gonna be your shopper for this trip whatever um, a lot of people do that uh, so we do an intro message I do an intro message <clears throat> just to like let my shopper know who I am so that if they want to like change something or add something onto their order they can like address me by my name um, just to make it easiest and I feel like it's more personal that way. Ooh, so much jamming in their car. <laughs> but yeah, so I will update you guys when I'm about to drop off the order. And when I drop off the order, I'm gonna see if I can do this right now. Whoop. That scared me, I don't know what I did. Oh, did I drop it? No, I didn't. What does this do? Oh, I think I found it. Yes, you guys can see me better. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't know how to do that. So I didn't want to like mess up my car or break it or whatever. Um, or break the like, break whatever was down there. Um, 
Oh, it looks so pretty. I want you guys to see. So that over there, you guys probably can't see it all that well, but that is a huge mountain and we live over there. Uh, pictures and videos do not do Hawaii justice at all. I want to vlog for you guys. I want to like have like a day in the life um, of like me living in Hawaii because we are leaving here in the next year, which makes me so sad. <laughs> like you guys don't understand. I've loved living here the last two years. It's going to be three years once we leave. But like I, I love Hawaii. Like I love Hawaii too much. Um, and I told my husband, I was like, I wish that he liked his his work here a little bit better um, or his unit because I love it here and I he had a six-year contract and I really wish that he liked it here he liked the people here more because we love the place we love Hawaii we love the living here we love the atmosphere we love the people the the locals are actually like while i say that it's hard to get a job here locals are actually very nice to me and like very like welcoming and things like that they're like as long as you show aloha they will give you aloha and so they've just been so kind to me here and a lot of people here actually think that i'm native hawaiian but i'm not i'm very much so like full mexican <laughs> Are full Hispanic because like I my parents are not from Mexico but like I'm Hispanic and so it's just like yeah I don't know um, I've, I've loved it here and I told my husband like I wish we could stay here because I would stay in Hawaii in a heartbeat but like I said it is like more stressful for him with his job he's in the military like I said um, so yeah, we're like down to the last stretch of being here, which I'm so sad about. Like I told him, I was like, I'm gonna bawl my eyes out when I have to leave here because this has been our first home. Like as soon as we got married, we found out that we were moving here and it was very much so bittersweet. And we were very excited. Um, yeah, so Hawaii has been a dream, literally a dream. <laughs> We, we love it, we love it here. Um, and for those who probably don't know, I live on Oahu. Uh, you can see like pictures and my adventures if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram. Um, it's at, I like the letter I, the letter V, three A's, like A-A-A-Y-E, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram. The island, I love the island people, I love the culture. Um, it's just it's it's gorgeous here 